of trouble breathing when I lay down or um, do any kind of exertion. I mean, even getting up and going to the bathroom. So we went in and the chest x-rays didn't show anything, so he wanted to do a CAT scan. So we went in um, earlier in the week and they did a CAT scan of my chest. A CT scan of your chest today. Okay. You had the CTs done, I think, before. Yeah. Uh, the one today will take us probably about 15 minutes. Okay. Um, we'll take some pictures with you laying on your back and then some with you laying on your stomach. Okay. All right? It's real important that you hold your breath during this test. Same breath every time is off. Okay. <coughs> I've done a couple of CT scans before. I remember what they were for before, but one of the easiest tests you ever have to do, you just gotta lay there and breathe when they tell you to breathe and hold your breath when you don't. Hold your breath now, don't breathe. Okay, breathe. We're taking scans in cross section, or they call them slices, and we're taking just a series of scans through the chest. It's what they call a high-res chest CT to look for interstitial lung disease. They were checking for Kaposi's, that maybe the cancer had been, is more internal than external, um, which would explain, you know, if I had Kaposi's in my lungs or in my chest, why it was being harder to breathe. Um, we got the test back uh, a couple days ago and it didn't show any Kaposi's, so, and since there wasn't any Kaposi's, it's a pretty good bet that this is probably the start of uh, wasting syndrome which um, it's kind of hard to explain. It's just your body just kind of gives up the fight. Um, and there's different things you can do to keep fighting it, try and keep weight on. Um, but wasting syndrome is one of the, probably one of the primary causes um, of death with AIDS patients. Um, most people don't get better from it. Um, they might have little short-term gains, but most of the time it's what usually kills people. Go ahead and breathe. Your body just wastes away, basically. Uh, get diarrhea, so you, or you've got nausea and vomiting, which I've, I've got all of them right now. It's almost like you become allergic to food. You try and eat it and either throw it up or it goes right through you. Uh, so you're not keeping any nourishment in your body. So that I think that's what it is. We don't know for sure yet. I don't even know for sure that there's a test for wasting syndrome. It's just a, it's a group of several different things that just all seem to happen all at once. I was kind of hoping that, that maybe some Kaposi's would show up because then maybe it meant that it wasn't wasting syndrome. But then again, I don't know whether I would do it. You know, the treatments for the Kaposi's would have been chemotherapy or, or uh, something like that, and I'm not sure that I would have chosen to do it if that's what it would have been anyway. Because if it, if treatments are going to make me live longer but I'm just miserable by living longer then it's not worth it to me. I'd rather just, you know, stay the course and, and let nature take its course at some point in time. You're free to go. Okay. Have a good day. All right, you too. Bye. Thank you. See ya.